I think President Obama has faced a lot of challenges. So I give him credit for, for doing a lot of the heavy lifting that needed to be done to make sure that we stabilized uh, the financial sector, stabilized certain segments of the economy. I give him credit for that. I do have some really serious concerns about the direction overall that the federal government has taken uh, from both a legislative perspective in, in terms of what's happened in the, in the House and in the Senate in terms of the health care reform package, as well as some of the issues associated with the huge amounts of government spending that are uh, that we're seeing in the offing. The health care reform package, for example, uh, even though folks talk about uh, just under a trillion dollars over, over the first 10 years, once you get past, once it really, really is launched, in the first 10 years when it's actually impl implemented, it's going to be over $2 trillion worth of government spending. It's going to be huge cuts to Medicare. It's going to be huge tax increases for the American public and, and businesses at a time when the worst thing we need right now is huge, huge increases in taxes. And the fees and the penalties that are going to be uh, driven down to the states and to the, to the businesses are really really going to be job killers. So I've got some real concerns about the direction that, that we're taking in terms of the focus on big, huge government spending at a time when American families are having to cut back. Maria Cheveste? Um, look, he gets an A for, an A plus for effort. Um, and uh, the set of issues facing them, as everyone acknowledges, are just huge. I think what has most astonished, what has been, I think, the most difficult is the unwillingness of, um, of the other party to really engage in a constructive way, to, um, to focus in the old um, government spending, no government spending, the role of government, not the role of government. It's like we are facing the crisis we have faced. We are currently uh, about uh, jobless recovery. A lot of those jobs are not coming back. What, what's, what's our plan for thinking? And I think the president has a team that is a, a focused on the anxieties that Americans feel. Um, but these are complex issues. And um, they're easy to soundbite, but the solutions are not. And I think that they are doing a good job. They could do a better job of communicating to the American people that they feel the pain, I mean, my former boss was very good at that, and sometimes you need a little bit of that emotional. But the fact is, I'd rather have a cool, thoughtful man at the, at the top thinking about these issues than um, just simply trying to do things politically. Juan Carlos, uh, if we can remember what it was like last January, the economy was shedding multiple hundreds of thousands of jobs every month, month after month. Uh, big, big American financial institutions seem to be uh, teetering on the edge. Uh, it's really kind of, is it kind of a luxury to be able to sit here in 2010 and, and look back and say, well, maybe you shouldn't have done that, maybe you should have done that. Uh, was the Obama administration faced right out of the gate with having to uh, put out the fire in a burning house to give us the luxury of arguing about what method you should have used to put out the fire. Well, I think that certainly was a serious economic crisis, what President Obama faced in, in his first months uh, in office. However, I think that the response to it was unfortunate. Uh, uh, many of the measures that were taken in order to prevent what many people consider will be, would have been a, a Great Depression, a second Great Depression, are probably going to set the base for a, a new crisis in, in, the, in the future. Uh, rescuing banks uh, and letting them know that if they, get, if they engage in trouble, they will be rescued again by the government. I mean, that's, uh, that creates an incentive for, for, bad, uh, for bad economic behavior. Uh, the Federal Reserve, again, has uh, interest rates on, on the zeros and, and the historic numbers, historic lows. Uh, that is also, again, setting the stage for a new economic crisis. And the, and the way that the Obama administration has intervened on any, every major industry, every major economic sector in the United States is also very worrying. Uh, I think that when it comes to spending, when it comes to government interventionism, when it comes to expanding the role of government in, in, the, in, the, in the economy, uh, President Obama has, has come up to be a, a bush on steroids. And that's, uh, that's quite, quite a statement. Should uh, the AIGs, the big financial houses, have been allowed to fail with the the consequent uh, problems that would have followed that? Would the marketplace have simply absorbed that and, and moved on? Look, capitalism without failure is like uh, Christianity without heaven. You can have it. Uh, so 
effectively, some of these institutions had have gone would have to be gone uh, let down, uh, go down. Uh, I think that uh, rescuing them sends a bad message for the future because it basically it is telling these executives, look, like if you get into irresponsible behavior as they did, we're gonna come up and rescue you. And I think that that's a ominous message to send for future generations. Lorena Chambers, has uh, President Obama done too much or not enough? There were a lot of critics at the time the stimulus package was passed saying, oh, the money's not gonna come on stream till 2010. We won't be able to see a lot of the jobs. Go big or go home. Well, I like to think of it as folks at the beginning of every year, people want to lose 20 pounds. And we have to remember, it didn't take us one week to, lose, to, take, to gain the 20 pounds. It's not going to take us one week to get rid of the 20 pounds. And really what President Obama was facing was really eight years previously of failed policies that affected our country in negative ways. I think letting the banks go, um, as Juan Carlos is suggesting, would have been completely irresponsible with the run on the banks. I mean, we were on the brink of financial disaster had the president and his team not stepped in. And so I think that the patience is required, but there is a frustration and anger out there. And I think, to Maria's point, if we're so busy as Democrats trying to fix the problem that we forget about the people who actually brought us to the dance, right? So it's just like any good relationship. You always have to remind your partner that you appreciate them. You have to have that communication. And so while everyone's working every day very hard to do what's best for all of America, the White House just has to do a better, a better job the, uh, our, we as Democrats have to communicate that we're working very hard and understand. Now, having said that, we do need to focus on jobs and we need to focus on more of a economic recovery. How have Latinos fared? I mean, I, I think if you look at the measurements mm -hmm. coming out of the big metropolitan areas that have heavy Latino populations, some of them have taken just a tremendous blow. Let me, let me tell you this, though. I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that President Obama at some point will become president and not just blame the last eight years on President Bush and just folk, let's, let's let him be president, be president. Do the things that he needs to do to, to, to take control of the economy, and he hasn't done so. Over the last year, he's been focused on anything but the things that really matter to the American people, and that's jobs and getting small businesses empowered so we can actually uh, recover from this economic situation that we're in. 